and today I'm going to talk about a diabetic pregnant lady who is undergoing elective cesarean section how do you prepare for that what are the steps a diabetic diabetic pregnant lady proceeding to what you call elective cesarean section surgery cesarean section so what are the things you should do to the patients till the delivery takes place by the elective cesarean section remember she should be fasted from midnight 12 midnight okay she should be fasting for that okay and at a 6 a.m. you can give what you call the antacids right okay on the day of operation right and remember she is a diabetic subcutaneous insulin should be omitted remember should not be given insulin that's what I want to talk about should not be given first at 12 midnight she should start fasting okay why fasting we advise to the surgery patients any patients going to the surgery we advise for the fasting for 8 to 10 hours because if there is a food in the stomach during anesthesia uh, the, the, the whatever is there in the stomach can regurgitate into the lungs and can cause aspiration pneumonia to prevent that we keep the patient on uh, fasting right and that is because of the anxiety of the pay because of the anxiety due to what you call due to surgery um, there will be a lot of secretions and um, um, there will be disturbance in the gastric mucosa that's why we give antacids okay um, two to three hours before and we vomit what you call vomit uh, subcutaneous insulin we don't give subcutaneous insulin because it can cause severe hypoglycemia already the patient is not taking anything since eight to twelve hours so insulin should not be given okay and plasma glucose estimation is done early in the morning plasma plasma glucose estimation is done okay if since the patient has, still has a high glucose then you can start with the insulin infusion as required per scaling what you call the sliding scale right so then again what you have to start is 5% dextrose infusion 5% dextrose infusion okay it started at uh, around uh, 6 a.m. at the rate of 125 ml per hour okay and then you have to give 30 ml of sodium citrate is given orally in the what you call operation uh, theater all right you have to give sodium citrate 30 ml sodium citrate right and prophylactic antibiotics can be given okay before any emergencies you have to give the prophylactic antibiotics so it can be given right and thromboprophylaxis in the form of subcutaneous unfractioned heparin or what you call the the um, low molecular weight heparins okay um, and early ambulation is recommended postoperatively for all cesarean section for seven days or till the discharge from the floor right so you have to do all these things okay um, and, and if the patient is at greater risk of DVT there's a deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism then you have to continue this uh, low molecular weight heparin for a total of seven days even after they are discharged right so these are the precautions these are the things that you should take do before sending the patient to the operation theater for elective scissor section in a case of a diabetic pregnant lady okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care